Happy birthday. <laughs> is this like the coolest like birthday experience? Or are you sad you have to work? <laughs> I, this is not work to me, are you kidding me? No, I never thought 10 years ago that I'd be right here. It's crazy, it's the best birthday present ever. <laughs> cool. Um, so the theme of this movie is kind of like, what do you live for? So I pose the question to you. What do you live for? I live for my family and my friends, really, yeah. Um, so, did you happen? Did you read the book before you uh, took on the role? Of well, before I got the part, I didn't read the book because I didn't want to jinx anything or you know get my hopes up and you know love the book and then just not get it or something. So I finished the book right as I landed in Vancouver to start filming it. So, so like, what was like, uh, um, like one of like your favorite scenes to shoot? Oh God. Okay. Well, Chloe and I had this uh, coffee shop scene. And it really, like the scene itself, it's really fun and it really shows their relationship. But just like when the cameras weren't rolling, we were just goofy and silly and just joked around with each other. It was an all day scene, so we had a lot of time in between. You guys are friends, right? Like really close friends. Yeah, yeah, we are. I love her. She's great. Uh, did you meet while you were on set for this? Yeah, we did. I actually met her when she was itty bitty. And, uh, well, I was itty bitty as well, but um, a little bit less itty bitty. Um, but yeah, no, we met when she was a lot younger, and we just kind of heard of each other through the grapevine and whatnot, and then we got reconnected through the movie. Um, so, at Fangirlish, we like to fangirl about, you know, latest books, films. Okay. Theater, so, <laughs> what is something that you are currently obsessing with? Uh, what am I obsessing with right now? Oh my god, that's such a hard question. Oh my god! Um, so Gail gave me a, Gail Foreman, who's the um, author of If I Stay, she gave me a kind of secret, unreleased copy of her new book, I Was Here. So I'm definitely going to be binge reading that. Have you read it? Shh. It's not out until next year. Shh. But everyone go get it. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm freaking out about right now. <laughs> So you're in The Best of Me, um, super excited for that one. Um, give us some deets about that. Well, it's everything you would expect from a Nicholas Sparks film and more. We've got some really cool twists and turns in it that you wouldn't expect. Um, and uh, we, uh, we all put a lot of effort into creating a good relationship with one another and uh, I think you can really see that on the film. So. Did you work with uh, James Marsden? I did, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, I mean, we obviously didn't have scenes together, but um, a lot of the scenes that we did separately kind of were supposed to merge together in some ways. So we were on set at the same time, and they're absolutely wonderful. I just, I wanted a scene with James so bad. I was like begging, and I was like, just write it, please. And Michelle wanted a, uh, wanted a scene with Luke, and we're like, let's just switch places for a day. A day. I love Luke Crazy, though. He's great. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Congrats on this film. Thank you very much.